Assalamualaikum and greetings human beings What I have here are four type 64 Right so This is a type 64 A modified version Because the original type 64 in its original configuration Has a hose This one is called threaded And this part here is also ghost threaded this is the voice diaphragm it is a, a transparent plastic film fragile of course damn it um, so this is also a type 64a As I have mentioned, so this is the uh, SL valve, the secondary SL valve. And this is the uh, primary SL valve. So the SL valves are similar to the Soviet helmet style gas mask and also similar to the Soviet MM1 mask. So this is the straps, five point head harness, fabric straps. Right, so this is from the back side. So this is the insides of the mask. These are tissue tubes going directly to the uh, lens. The aforementioned voice diaphragm. And there you go, that's the uh, primary as a valve so that's all for the type 64a for the type 64b here's the voice diaphragm plus the SL valve I've already mentioned how this thing works in my previous video so you could check it out and the link would be in the description once again just like the type 64a this is ghost threaded same like this old fella here the type 64b in its original configuration high lenses all kind of the same as the type 64 a, as you can see here, even though this is a five point head harness, fabric straps just like the Type 64 A, you can also adjust at the back, at the lower back, that's too. You can adjust it at the back here or at this one here, at this bit. And The Type 64A, the buckles are actually molded into the mask. On the other hand, the Type 64B, the buckles are not molded into the mask itself. There's a kind of a bolt here preventing it from slipping. And These two are actually size 1, so the uh, size stamp would be here. This is where the size stamp of the Type 64B. And also, for the Type 64A, it is located at the same place here. So that's the reason why the modified Type 64 exists. So, basically speaking, in China, it is illegal for you to export their surplus overseas. So, uh, I consider myself lucky to have this. So, this is in its original configuration as I ever mentioned. So, to export this mask, they cut the hose. 
literally the cut or just strip it off and stuff a 40 millimeter pot there and instead of calling this mask a type 64 they just call this mask mask 64 because laws are well weird they classify this mask as an industrial mask instead of a military mask so somehow somewhere the Chinese law uh, allows this mask to be exported under these conditions. I think that's all from me. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions or concerns, you can comment below. Goodbye.